Hello, hello, without walls. My name is Marife Blanca. I'm a third year law student at Universidad del Pacifico, and I'll be telling you about what I consider the most gratifying experience I've encountered in my life. I've led my school's model United Nations team, successfully participated at Harvard and UN, won for a place in the competition de Legion Acción, and I worked to have grades to reflect academic excellence and hard work. All this to be like the empowering and strong women I live with, my mom and my grandmas, and the ones I read about. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Chimamanda Nazi Adichie, Marcela Serrano, and others. Reading, that is the experience I'm going to be talking to you about. But especially about great characters and authors whom I am able to see my present or future self in. Bader Ginsburg sums up perfectly how I feel about reading. Words could paint pictures. Choosing the right word order can make an enormous difference and can be an image or an idea. That's exactly how I would describe a change agent. Someone capable of transmitting the message and getting others to understand it and start working towards a common goal. Nazia Dici says that today we live in a vastly different world. The person most likely to lead is not the physically strongest. It's the most creative, intelligent, innovative. And there are no hormones for those attributes. That is what I remember when I got the opportunity to debate with people from all over the world at Harvard and UN, changing other people's perspectives about Peru through my work, telling them about, about its potential waiting to explode, and what solutions I would execute if I had the power and resources to do it. I've learned that the biggest obstacle to change is when people refuse to expand their knowledge and insist on maintaining a limited mindset. People tend to engage someone to, like Nazi Adichie would say, a single story according to their gender, race, culture. Marcela Serrano's books talk about independence and power amongst women. So they achieve those, birds will fall. So why don't we focus on capacity instead? Bader Ginsburg says that reacting in anger or annoyance will not advance one's ability to persuade. At my university, law students take classes such as economics and business, along with students with majors of set careers. I've had to fight the resistance of students with biases against law students' ability in these topics, for being younger and for being a woman. I consider these situations where my leadership skills are past the expectations. I would consider the competition that Asian Action as my most challenging academic experience. My work was judged by lawyers that later would be my professors, and it was when I assured myself that I wanted to be a lawyer. To Law Without Walls, I would bring a new perspective of justice, a strong problem analysis, and unremittedly hard work. In Law Without Walls, I hope to expand my perspective of justice for the opinions of people from different backgrounds, connect the law with evolving technology and business, and get on the right path of being a part of what this woman writes so fiercely about, getting our law to a point where every girl, every kid can have the right to think, speak, and write without fear. Thank you.